One of the biggest tournaments in Northwest Florida is celebrating its 95th year. Today, the second day of the MC Sherman Invitational was underway at the Panama Country Club. After finishing around 7.30 last night because of an hour-long rain delay, hundreds of golfers grouped off today. On amateur tourney, several professional golfers have gotten their start winning the Sherman, which is the longest running amateur golf tournament in the southeastern United States. The country club has been in restoration mode in the past few years and finally has the greens back up to their standard. It used to be lined with oak trees, but those were wiped out in Hurricane Michael. Now it's a Lynx course. Golfers competing say it was great to be back at the Sherman Invitational, even if the course looks different than it used to. It's odd sometimes you look up, you don't have foliage or anything to aim at. Uh, it's just blue skies, but they planted some trees and it's getting better. It's, uh, it's different though. The wind gets, when the wind blows, it's, it's tough. I thought the fairways are great. I think the greens are very good. Uh, this place has come a long way in the last three years and they're doing a great job. And I thought the golf course played very well the last two days. Johnson shot one under today, shooting 71. He shot 67 yesterday and a six under through the first two days of play. Johnson's three back on the leaderboard. He says he's looking forward to seeing members of the club come out and watch the last day of competition tomorrow. After starting on the back nine today, golfers will start on hole one, one of the toughest holes on the course tomorrow.